The future is pretty simple. As we see oil skyrocketing, cost of fuel skyrocketing, how do you cut back on that cost of fuel or how do you cut back on fuel? You cut back on it by using materials that are lighter. This 787 Dreamliner, the A350, the Airbus, they're all composite plane. They're doing that because they're cutting on weight and cut on cost of fuel and you're going to see it more and more. My name is Nadia Olusola and I am an official composite technician. Composites are, um, it's really like a reinforced plastic. It's very, very durable. Um, they're using composites in quite a bit of industries. Um, in the aerospace industry, they use composites on the planes and that's because it's so lightweight and extremely strong. My name is Liz Strongman and I'm the program coordinator for composites and I, my main role is to work with students and help them navigate the college system and make their way through the program successfully. And I really see my role as supporting them in their school and with support services on campus and resources on campus that, so they know what's available for them as students, but also after they graduate and when they're in the process of job search and getting started with their careers. We have people coming from food service industry, we have people coming from hospitals, we have uh, people coming from the trades. Um, what you need to know, uh, you can come in here with no knowledge of composites whatsoever and we'll teach you everything you need to know. Right now uh, there's uh, positions open at Boeing which are right down the street from where I'm living and um, it's for a composite technician and that's what we're studying here. There, uh, I believe there are 32 of those positions open and there are 16 to 18 of us in the class that are interested in potentially working at Boeing. There's also 20 plus position, positions open at Hexel Corporation. Some of us are young, some of us are middle-aged, uh, different experiences. Some people come from manufacturing backgrounds, some people might uh, come from a uh, manual labor background, some people might come from uh, an office job background. So again, just the diversity in age, race, gender uh, is, uh, is pretty refreshing. Bottom line, you go through your coursework for a couple, the first couple of hours and you come out and work in the lab. At the same time, you've got a brand new chapter that you're learning every week and then come Friday, it's test day. I got signed up over the summer and I've had a mentor um, in the process while I went through it. And my mom was trying to find the quickest route to me getting a job and she found all these videos on composites and carbon fiber and I got hooked on watching these videos. I think I spent a couple hours just on YouTube watching videos of people making things. So many things are now made out of composites. I recently met a gentleman who had eye surgery and the material that they put in his eye is made out of composites. I said, wow, look at this. <laughs> I'm in the right field. And it was great to see one of our graduates came in. We have our graduates come back as guest speakers and talk about their experience getting a job. And she came back and talked about her experience in the program. And she was one of those ones that didn't even know what composites was going in. And she was like, well, I kind of have an idea, but I don't really know. And she was talking about the work she was doing now as if she was a complete professional. And she was, she, she'd gained so many skills and so much confidence in that that she was able to talk to the students and really be inspiring.